Hello and welcome to this demonstration of a wolf in watercolor. I first traced the outline onto my watercolor paper, then created more dark pencil marks to help guide where I need to place the darker fur on his face and neck. My photo reference is from pixabay.com and I will have a link to the photo in the description. I am using Daniel Smith paints and Arches cold press 300 pound paper and I am using black velvet silver brushes. All the supplies I used are listed in the description, including this awesome new palette from Robax that I bought just a few weeks ago. Before continuing, I want to announce my new course on Skillshare, painting a fluffy duckling in watercolor. In this hour-long real-time video, I will show you how to create realistic feathers by using wet and wet and wet on dry techniques to create both soft and hard edges. I will also show you how to mix the right colors using a limited palette and other important techniques that will help you in creating realistic animals in watercolor. Besides my art courses on Skillshare, by using my link in the video description, you can have two free months of a premium membership. For two months, you can access as many courses as you want in illustration, fine art, graphic design, and many other subjects too in business, photography, cooking, and the list goes on. After your two-month membership, you can continue your access for only $8.25 per month on the annual plan. Just click the link in the description to get your free access. Now back to the painting demonstration. This painting took me a little over three hours of painting time, and I condensed it down to just under 17 minutes for the video. While the footage of the painting process has been sped up drastically, I hope that it will still be helpful for you if you also want to learn more about painting animals in water. I'm starting with my Naples Yellow for the base coat. I'm using all Daniel Smith pigments. And from there I'll just build up the color using darker browns and my neutral tint, neutral tint for the grays. And I'm mostly painting wet and wet to get that fluffy texture and the granulating and mineral uh, properties of some of these pigments really help to bring out that fluffy texture, especially the hematite, which is the dark brown that I use in some of these darker areas, like right here along the, the rough of the neck. I try adding a little salt texture, but in the end, it didn't really seem to do much. I'm using my oval brush, and I'm just using the tip for some of those finer little strokes, and I am being careful to go in the direction of the fur. Along the nose and muzzle area, I'm re-wetting that first layer of Naples Yellow, and I'm just going in with some of my darker browns. And just because I want to keep all of this very soft at this stage, that is why I'm doing it wet and wet, so the colors will blend together and not create any hard edges. For the darkest area of the eye, I mixed burnt sienna with French ultramarine. I do prefer to mix my own blacks. I think it looks a little bit more natural and more interesting to have some variation between the cool and the warm in that black. Of 
time on the eye lifting and putting paint down again just trying to get the perfect shape and the right colors and of course make it look spherical and dynamic <laughs> for me in this painting was to create a good balance between the soft and washy and fluffy fur along with the more detailed fur strokes and I did end up being pretty satisfied in the end with how it turned out although I feel I could have stopped adding some extra brush strokes towards the end since I ended up covering up some of my nice fluid wash areas but still I am happy with how it turned out overall.
for some of the final highlights, I'm using Fluid Ink from Windsor Newton in white. Careful not to go overboard with the acrylic ink. And I'm using a black micron pen, waterproof, for the whiskers. I originally didn't plan on doing a background for it, but in the end I am actually really glad that I did. I think it really made it more of a painting than a study, and it gave it a little bit more of a um, I was able to highlight the outside edges of the fur a bit, so I'm actually really glad that I decided to do this as an afterthought. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about watercolor painting or painting in general, uh, please leave a question in the comment for me. And also I would invite you to subscribe to my channel where I will have more painting videos and then you can be notified as soon as they are released, especially if you hit that notification bell. Also, do not forget to sign up for your two free months of Skillshare Premium. The link is in the description below the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you next time.